to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to practice subtracting mixed fractions. And what I like to do is convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction and then just subtract them. For instance, let's subtract 3 and a half minus 2 and 1 fourth. First thing I will do is go ahead and convert them into a improper fraction. So I have 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and I like to subtract in a vertical fashion. And then we have 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9 over 4. And we will subtract those two. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and get a common denominator, and we know that 4. So what I do next is 2 will go into 4 2 times, and 2 times 7 is 14 over 4 minus, and 4 will go into 4 1 time. So now I have 9 fourths. I then just subtract um, 14 fourths minus 9 fourths, and that equals 14 minus 9 is 5 over 4. And then I can simplify or convert that to a mixed fraction of 4 will go into 5 one time with 1 left over. So it will be 1 and 1 fourth. So that would be my first example. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the second example. And that will be, let's try 3 sixteenths minus two and a half. Okay, first thing I will do is convert them to an improper fraction. 16 times 3 is 48, plus 1 is 49 over 16, minus, and this one's pretty easy, 2 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5 halves. Okay, so now I find a common denominator, which will be 16. 16 will go into 16 one time, so this will equal 49 over 16, and let me move this up a little bit so we can see this. 49 over 16 minus 2 will go into 16 8 times, and 8 times 5 is 40 over 16. I now subtract them, and 49 minus 40 is equal to 9 over 16 and I cannot simplify that fraction further. Okay, let's work one last example, and just so we get the hang of this, and this last example, let's go with uh, 3 and a 3 fourths minus 2 and 1 sixteenths. Okay, I'm going to convert them to an improper fraction. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15 over 4, and then we will subtract that from 16 times 2 is 32, plus 1 is 33 sixteenths. Okay, now I need to find a common denominator, and that is 16. So 4 will go into 16 4 times, and 4 times 15 is equal to 60. Again, 4, I did 4 into 16, we'll go 4 times, 4 times 15 is 60 over 16 minus, and 16 will go into 16 1 times, 1 times 33 is 33. So now I have 60 minus 33, which is equal to 27 over 16, because that's our common denominator. Again, 60 minus 33 is 27, and then 16 will go into 27 one time, and then 27, excuse me, and then you will have 11 sixteenths left over. Let me show you quickly how I went ahead and uh, converted that. 16 will go into 27 uh, one time, and then 16 times 1 will be 16, and 27 minus 16 is 11. So uh, that's how I ended up with 11 sixteenths. Hope this helps with subtract uh, improper, excuse me, with subtracting mixed fractions. If you enjoyed this, please share. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.